Hey guys, what's up? Today I got an OU match. This one is against Henrique or Henrique or, or however you say it. But um, he asked me for a battle, and I figured it was because he had a tournament match because of his team and the fact that it is actually a Mario theme team, as you will be able to probably notice as soon as you see his uh, lead Pokemon. But uh, yeah, so I figured just lead with Jirachi, get up rocks. I'm thinking this team's really weird. It didn't really clue in immediately, but you're going to see after the first turn that it's actually a Trick Room team. And I don't like Trick Room teams at all. I don't like weather teams in general, and I consider Trick Room and or Gravity to be part of you know, weather. I mean, weather, yeah, it's, it's innate, but any... Uh, whatever. Anyways, so I set up rocks. He's going to go for the Trick Room. I go for the Thunder Wave. I, I don't know why. I mean, I know he's a Trick Room team. I know he's probably going to have Gyro Ball, so I don't know why I did this. But I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe it'll come in handy later when he tries to set up Trick Room. He'll get, like, fully paralyzed or something, and it'll, it'll end up saving me. But he goes out to his uh, Rhyperior. I'm going to go for the Wish, which, again, I, I, sh I should have not went for the Wish. But I'm going to switch to Celebi. He's going to predict that very easily and go for the Mega Horn. And I'm like, well, fuck. That sucks. Okay, so I know his uh, Trick Room's kind of running out, so I'm going to go to Jirachi, then I'm going to switch out to Hydreigon to dodge the Earthquake, and then I'm like, wait, would he have a Choice Banded? And he does. And I'm like, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <sighs> He's Choice Banded, so like, ah, I should have just Iron Headed. I don't know, I was playing really bad, and at this point I was kind of pissed off, plus the Trick Room and all, like, ah, oh, god damn it, this fucking sucks. But I'm like, you know what, let's go to Gyarados, this Trick Room ran out, we go over the Waterfall, and uh, he's going to switch into his Whimsicott, who I know can Encore me, and probably also has Trick Room, most likely, although, you know, the Prankster doesn't make it do much else. I mean, it's still minus six priority, so when you add plus one, it's only minus five. Uh, so he's still gonna go last, but he gets the Trick Room up on the Switch, I figured he'd want to, like, Leech Seed or, or something, me, and, uh, yeah, but I go to Jolteon, Trick Room's up, I'm gonna go for the HP Ice, and I'm just, at this point, I'm just like, okay, I need to go and start predicting, because I'm gonna definitely lose if I play this match straight out, so, I go to Heatran, predicting the Power Whip or anything like that, or even the Gyro Ball, I think, would kill, because I'm just that damn vast. But he goes for the Sword Stance, so I'm going to switch out to Gyarados, because I'm expecting the Bulldoze, because it's the only move that can reliably hit a Heatran, who otherwise quad-resists both of his attacks, and I do predict that very nicely. So now I'm going to switch back to Heatran, take the Power Whip, and even though he's plus two, and I'm not defensive at all, that's going to hurt, but it's going to allow me to... Uh, you know, wait at the Trick Room, and I'm going to force him out. I know he's going to switch into his Slowking, because it's a specially defensive Pokemon. Well, he's his is probably offensive, because it's Trick Room. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse, which hits him. And I'm thinking, okay, let's go for the Dark Pulse again. It's going to kill him, and I'm going to feel awesome. He leaves at 1 HP, like literally 1 HP, and gets off a Trick Room, and I'm like... But, you know, whatever. So I'm going <laughs> to switch out to Jirachi. Best thing I have is to take a Surf. And uh, he's Life Orb, so it's going to do crap ton. But he's going to die, so that's kind of better than him switching out and getting Regenerator and stuff. But what would have been even better is him just dying to the Dark Pulse. So that's unfortunate. But he's going to switch into his Rhyperior. I figure he'd overpredict. And uh, I'm going to screw it up again and go for the Wish. I, I, I don't know why I'm just not Iron Heading. Like, I don't understand. I'm like... Oh, fuck. I, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't... Um, I didn't just Iron Head. I would have done a nice amount of damage. Not a lot, because he is, like, bulky as shit. And probably has max... Well, definitely has max HP. So, um, yeah. But it's still... He probably would have died to this HP Ice. But, um... I'm gonna go for it anyways. He actually misses the Stone Edge. I was hoping he would miss last turn, but he didn't, so... Whatever. Um, and Trick Room runs out, so I'm going to switch out to my Gyarados, as I'm expecting him to want to switch out to uh, his Bronzong. And that's exactly what happens. So now I'm going to go for the Taunt, so he can't Trick Room. I know he has Stealth Rocks. I'm expecting him to have Gyro Ball as his only attack. He probably also has, like, Toxic or maybe a Screen or something. And um, that's going to basically shut him down completely. However, I still, still cannot start Dragon Dancing, because he has this. So, I'm going to Stone Edge. 
it's really not going to do that much because I have no attack investment and I'm lefties and stuff and he's probably defensive. He's going to go for the taunt, which I was not happy to see. I was hoping he'd be like sub leech seed, encore, and trick room. But he does have taunt, which shuts down my taunt. That means now he gets to set the trick room up and that's not good because now I have five more turns of just absolute torment. Um, that Rhyperior, basically, he should be dead, but... Um, I was stupid and didn't iron hit him twice when I could have. I just wish seemed like a better option. I don't know. Uh, he's going to go for the sub here, though, which means he either ha doesn't have Leech Seed or he doesn't have Encore, which is kind of weird because Encore on a Prankster is like the ultimate anti-setup move. Uh, but I do miss my Overheat, which sucks. So I'm going to switch out, and he's going to switch out for some reason. Even though if I had a stayed in, he would have taken a full power uh, overheat, and that wouldn't have been good for his health. But, you know, I'm in on Jolteon. I go for the Shadow Ball. I am Specs. Uh, and that's going to do a good amount. So I'm going to switch out to my Gyarados. I figure it'll be less useful than anything else because he's like, he's got a setup and he's got very little health left. And, I mean, he's weak, basically. I'd rather keep a, a Specs Jolteon who outspeeds. Well, I mean, Gyarados probably outspeeds everything, too, out of Trek Room. But, um,. Yeah, to so go for the waterfall, I'm hoping for the uh, flinch, but I don't get it. He ends up taking me out. I go to Jolteon, and uh, I'm just going to scare him out. And I'm going to go for the Volt Switch, because I know I can take another Stealth Rock, because it does, I think it just did 35 or 34, something like that. Um, but I'm going to go to Heatran, and I am going to proceed to basically just overheat the rest of his team. Uh, he goes into his uh, Dusclops, and here is where I wish I kind of had Fire Blast, because uh, I opted for Overheat, it's a Scarf Trion with Timid, and uh, Overheat, generally you only get like Overheat once and then you have to switch out to something else, but against this team, Fire Blast would have been awesome. Uh, really awesome, because that Fire Blast would have almost killed him. He's actually going to go for the Trick Room, which really sucks, because I'm like, fuck... But, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, he would have died here uh, if I had Fire Blast. Uh, he actually might have even, no, he wouldn't have got no code because it would have been double, like, I wouldn't have had the special attack drops, but it wouldn't have been double power because it's weaker. But, um, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm just kind of going, and here, here is where it pisses me off. Because I go for the overheat, I'm like, I'm minus six, but it's a fucking Rhyperior. He has, like, no special defense. And he lives again, and I'm just like, oh, oh, why? Oh, my God. Three times. His Slow King lived and got off a trick room. His Dusclops lived and... And forced me to kill him with overheat. Well, he lived the stealth rock because he lived the waterfall and all the other times, the shadow ball and etc. etc. And then Rhyperior, like, if Rhyperior didn't live, I could have potentially. Well, no, I still would have lost because the thing is, he got Trick Room up. Um, so his Fair of Thorn would have still been able to kill both my guys uh, in the time allotted. But because he lived, I was like, uh, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That was just annoying. Like, just. That was just the icing on the cake, so, you know, I, I, I again, even if I killed his rep here, I still would have lost because he had Trick Room, because Ferrothorn would have two turns to kill both of my pokes, and they both die to a uh, Bulldoze very easily. Which, uh, I guess I could have saved Gyarados 4, like, to, like, dodge Earthquake or Bulldoze or whatever, but Stone Edge and Power Whip probably would have killed both of them, too, anyway, so... Yeah, it ended up being a fairly close match. Like, I think, yeah, if that Slow King had died and not gotten Trick Room up, it would have been a lot better. Um, or if I hadn't have wasted my first Overheat on the Dusclops, too, because, well... Actually, you know what? I think that did matter, because over the, then my first... No, he would have lived the first Overheat, most likely. I think. I don't know, because the minus two one did more than half, didn't it? Because he didn't really take any damage. So, I might have been able to kill him. I don't know. Anyways, um, I wasn't actually upset. I When 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 that Rhyperior lived, I was just like, oh, God. I was like laughing to myself. And I was like, oh, this is fucking stupid. Probably because I figured I would lose. Because I, at the start of the game, I lost two of my pokes like really, really stupidly. And Jirachi, I basically wasted, did very little this entire battle. So, um yeah, that kind of sucks. That Thunder Wave that I dropped on the second turn actually turned it up. Turned out to do absolutely nothing because he never got paralyzed once. So yeah, 
Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I'll see you all next time.